So today is Halloween. I'm going to finish these two pumpkins. So after you core, you carve a top in your pumpkin and you scoop out the seeds, um, what you're going to want to do is tape down your design and then go through and poke out holes along each of the designs. So I would say the same thing for this design as the other ones. After you carve out a lid for your pumpkin, what you're gonna wanna do is tape down your design. I found this in the internet. I actually had to shrink it down 50% on my printer before I uh, put it on here. And then you're going to tape it on. And then if you look pretty close, you see I poked holes along the edge of the designs and all the stars. And these can get pretty intricate, so I just did pokes at all the points. Um, and then I took a knife and just cut vertical lines. So for the moon and the holes on this pumpkin, you can use a drill bit, but I don't have one or the one I have, I can't figure out how to work. So I use this really long screwdriver instead and it worked just as well um, to poke through the pumpkin and actually made these holes pretty quickly. Um, so just a tip if you are going to try to attempt this design. Here's something to note if you're gonna do the butterfly design. If you look at the pattern, um, you can see if you actually cut along the edge of the butterfly, you would actually just cut out the entire butterfly shape from this pumpkin. So in order to get around that, you cut a line, but you don't complete it all the way and it still helps you get the shape of the wings. I hope that all makes sense. For these small holes, smaller areas, I use this tool to just poke something through. For any of the curved areas, I've been using this tool that has the curved edge and I just kind of go through and carve out the shape of the curve um, in the top of the flesh and then I will go over it with one of the knives. Okay, this is the first test of the butterfly. Um, turned out pretty good. There's just a couple spots I need to go in and fill in over here or make them more, a little bit more seeable. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty cool. Okay, here's the first test of the Tinkerbell pumpkin. Um, I really love the way this turned out. I messed up on it, but um, there's supposed to be more of a face right here. But I added in the moon and other things and I think that actually turned out really well. Pumpkins lit back 